it's not on. Hello! Step right up to play bird bingo. We're really happy to have you join us today at SeaTax Digital Eco Carnival. We're gonna have, a, I'm Maureen Dunn, and working with me is Ariel Santos. And we're gonna play, and she has masks and <laughs> gloves on, and she's in the next room, and without a mask. And we're gonna play bird bingo. So I hope you have a lot of fun. And we're also going to learn the identification of some common Long Island birds. Be sure, before you start playing, be sure to get your bird bingo card from the link above. Put your number in the, type your number in the box and we'll start playing. You're ready to go. This game is for both parents um, children, adults, everybody can play, six to 106. So are we ready? We are ready. All right, so step right up and play bird bingo. I'm gonna start spinning the wheel, and when it stops, you're going to type in as fast as you can the kind of bird that you think it is, the common name for that bird. Uh, we're going to um, we're going to uh, look through what you've typed, and then when we get the correct bird, you can cover it on your bingo card. When you when we get it, you cover it. If you get five in a row on your card, you should type in bingo in capital letters with exclamation points. So, are you ready? Is everyone ready? Yes, everybody's ready. And here we go. Come on, step right up. Okay, so this is the first bird. If you know what it is, start typing and we'll see what kind of response we get. Is everybody typing in as fast as they can, but I'm gonna give you some, some clues and clues to identifying this bird. So the first thing we see about it is it's actually a medium-sized bird. It has a red head and a chisel-shaped beak and a very strong, sharp tail. This bird likes to spend its time around marshes and watery areas. And it has two toes that go forward and two toes that go backwards, unlike most birds that have three that go forwards and one that goes backwards. Jackie Potato guessed redheaded woodpecker, is that correct? That is right, Jackie, redheaded woodpecker. Very good. Okay, we're gonna spin the wheel again. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, everybody's ready. Oh, okay, start typing. This bird has very long legs and it's a very big bird. We make them all the same so they fit on the wheel, but this one is very big. And it has very long legs and a pointy sharp beak for fishing. And it has a blue back and some black on its head and some black on its side. And I know that this bird is an adult bird because it has white up on its, on its head. So let's see if anybody can guess what kind of bird this is. We have this quite a bit on Long Island in the marshes. Any guesses? Nancy gets great blue heron. Nancy gets great blue heron. That's right. Very good, Nancy. Okay, so now make sure on your card you've covered great blue heron and red-headed woodpecker. And if it appears more than once, you can cover it twice. If it appears three times, you can cover it three times. And don't forget to type in bingo when you get bingo. Okay, is everyone ready? Here we go. Oh, okay, start typing. So this is a very little bird. 
and it has a pointy beak for eating insects. It's mostly yellow and has um, some rusty stripes on its chest. I know that this is a male bird because only the male birds of this type have stripes on their chest. These birds, this time of year, they're just starting to come here to Long Island. They fly all the way to South America in the winter time. So has anybody guessed anything for I this bird? Three people. Three people. We got yellow warbler, is that it? Yellow warbler, that's it. Nice job. That's it, very good. Thank you all for guessing and for, for typing in. I'm so excited to have you playing with us. Okay, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna play until somebody gets bingo and then we're gonna keep playing. So if you start in the middle, that's fine too. Just get a card and join us. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is a nice bird. This is a bird that you'll probably see if you look right out your window. It's very small. It's a very small bird and it's uh, gray and has a white chest, a black throat, and a little black cap. It has a triangle shaped beak because birds with triangle shaped beaks usually eat seeds because they need a really strong beak to crack seeds open. So this is a little bird. I think you got a guess. We have a guess already. Noel. Chickadee? A chickadee, that's right, Noel. Very good. Gosh, you guys are really good with your birds. Okay, very good, Noel. All right, we'll go again. No bingos yet, right? Here we go. Oh, so I think this is the hardest one on the wheel because it's not every day that you see this bird, but you can see, so start typing, you can see there it's sitting in the water and it has beautiful colors. It has a red eye and a, a thick bill. Um, this type of bird eats everything. It eats insects and seeds and everything. And I know this is a male bird because he has a bright red eye. Any guesses yet? Like I said, this is the hardest one. We do have a guess from Sue. Sue? Is it a wood duck? Very good, Sue. <laughs> we have some really great birders here. I think that's the hardest one on the wheel because it isn't every day that we see a wood duck. Wood ducks uh, are here right now, but they'll go down. They uh, go down to, into, say, Maryland or so in the um, in the winter time. Okay, here we go. Ready? So this bird is oftentimes a sign of spring. So start typing. Um, we see a lot of these birds outside on the grass. It has a black head, a little white ring around its eye, gray back, and a red breast. Uh, it has a pointed beak, not quite a triangle beak, but a pointed beak. And it's usually on the lawns on grassy areas. Does anyone know what this one is? This is a popular one. We have a few that have guessed robin. Robin. What kind of robin? Does anybody? American robin. American robin. That's right. How many guesses did we get on that one? Three. Three positive identifications. Sue, Noel, and Jackie. Very good. That's great. Okay. Are you ready? Don't forget to cover them on your card. Here we go. Okay, start typing. This is gonna get easier as we go along, but sometimes new people are gonna start and pick up their card. So if you remember what this is, we already looked at it before. It has a red head and a strong tail and holds on to the side of a tree with its two toes one way and two toes the other way. And I know this is an adult bird 
because of the color of his head. If it was a juvenile bird, it would be gray, almost like a black and white photo of the same bird. Do we have, yes, we have some people who know what this is, who remember. Red headed woodpecker, well, right. Tara. Okay, you guys are some very good birders. All right, so there's a little repetition here, but this will get you to be really sharp birders. There we go. Ooh, who could this be? <laughs> this is a large bird. This bird is as large as the, the one that we saw before. And this is a very large bird with its eyes right in the front and they're big eyes so it can see at night. It's mostly brown, has really sharp talons, a sharp pointy beak, and, uh, and ear tufts of feathers that are up on top of its head. They're not its true ears, its true ears are back further. Does anyone know what kind of bird this is? We have three guesses. Three guesses. We have great horned owl. Is that right? We do have a great horned owl, yes. And this is a bird that's uh, really good to see this time of year. They're, um, they actually mate in the middle of winter. You'll hear them hoo, 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 way up high, actually five hoos, way up high. And the male is calling up. This time of year, there's, the young are starting to fledge out of their nests. They, um, they make, uh, they have a nest up in the tippy tops of the trees and they usually don't make their own nest. They usually take a squirrel's nest or something else. In fact, if you go to Sea Tucks from the field page, you'll see Enrico did a really nice description and some nice photographs of a live uh, great horned owl nest. So we check got, that out too. We've got bingo. We've got bingo. Who has bingo? Nancy and Gracie. Nancy and Gracie. <laughs> Congratulations. So you can keep playing. Um, you can get a new card, you can keep playing. But if anybody else is just watching and not playing, grab a card, you can join at any time. And um, just grab a card, you can put your number in the box and we'll know what card you took. And you can join us up, join up and start playing. So great work guys. Okay, we're gonna spin a few more times. We got this one already, a very little bird, mostly yellow with streaks on its breast with a pointy, pointy beak because it eats. Does anyone know what it eats? What does this bird eat? Does anybody know? They're guessing them too easy. We'll throw some questions out there. Anybody know what this bird eats and what it is? No guesses. I'm going to tell you what it. All right. So, do we have any guesses on what bird it is? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Wait. So these birds are just migrating here. They come to Long Island to um, to breed and uh, spend the summers here. So we got Noel get yellow warbler. That's right, Noel. They nest very low on the ground, oftentimes in a little. Uh, tripod kind of nest and and this is a male we know that from his streaking a female would be all yellow because if you see an all yellow bird you know it's a yellow warbler completely yellow and if it hasn't this one has a little bit of olive on its back if it has olive then it's a juvenile um, so okay are we ready good work guys oh goodness here we go Okay, <laughs> so start typing. This is a bird you'll see oftentimes if you come down to, uh, to the Suffolk County Nature Center. Uh, this is the classic bird of the marsh. It's a medium sized bird. It's uh, black and has red and orange epaulets on its shoulder. Only the males have this coloring, the females don't have that coloring. And it eats seeds and, um, and uh, small nuts and things that it finds. This is the classic bird of the marsh.
Any guesses as to what this would be? We have two guesses. We have two. Noelle and Sue, they guessed Red Winged Blackbird. Red Winged Blackbird, that's right. And the Red Winged Blackbird says, Conklery. And we have Bingo. And we have a Bingo. Who has Bingo? Jackie has Bingo and Eli had it before. Eli has Bingo too. And two Bingos. Good job, guys. I hope you're learning to identify your birds. Okay, we're going to give everybody a chance and spin that wheel again. Oh, so here we are. Okay, so this is a medium-sized bird, very noisy. Sometimes they're here all year long. It has a triangular beak for eating seeds, and it ha looks like it has a nice blue and black and white coloring to it. Does anyone know what bird this is? Do we have any, any people who know what bird this is? No guesses yet? We have Blue Jay from Noel. And Blue Jay it is. Very good, Noel. You're really going good. Tara got Blue Jay too. And Tara. Tara, good job. Good job, Tara. Okie doke. Here we go. One more spin. We've had this one before. Type in really quickly. We'll see who types in first. This is a small bird, all yellow, except for striping on his chest. And if it's a female, she's all yellow. Nest low to the ground. Has a pointy beak for eating insects. Any guesses? Not yet, but you guys have seen this one before. They have. So this is probably covered already. Any new people can come on and join and you can cover yellow warbler, which we've identified. Oh, let me give a spin. This one in the water, anybody remember what this is? We've already covered it. We do these over again, so you know, with a red eye, so we know it's a male. Still waiting. Still waiting. Sits in the water. And we had we had it before. Hmm. One guess. We got one guess. Noel. Good job. Thank you, Noel. <laughs> Good job, Noel. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna spin the wheel once more. Oh. So quickly type in what you think this is. It's a medium-sized bird with yellow legs and a yellow beak. It's black and white and has a black ring or band around its bill. It has a pointy bill for tearing things apart. It's a scavenger, it eats almost anything. They're very noisy and here mostly in the winter time. Uh, this bird is, is uh, our, pretty much our resident wintertime uh, bird, <laughs> and you can oftentimes see it at the beach in the parking lots. Anybody have a guess on this one? Well, we have, oh, Jackie guess ring bill go. Very good, Jackie, very good. Okay, so that's it. Thank you so much for playing Bird Bingo. It's nearly over. On behalf of myself, Maureen Dunn, uh, I'm the water quality scientist at SeaTuck and Ariel Santos, the environmental policy coordinator. We and everyone at SeaTuck, we thank you for joining in uh, today. We look forward to seeing you, maybe with your binoculars, at the Suffolk County Environmental Center or the South Shore Nature Center. They're both located in Islip Town. Uh, don't go away yet, though, because there's a lot more fun to have. Up next is the very entertaining Matt the Music Man, and he's going to get you moving and smiling and dancing and singing and have a good time. So stay tuned. Don't go away.
you'll be able to choose if you want to save it or delete it. Uh, did I end my video? <laughs> Let me 